kind of um, cut, feel a disconnect or a lot of agitation, or it's easy to connect with these people. And so we kind of use some groupings of like neutral people. And I'll say a bit more about that through the meditation. And then we'll practice with self. And then we'll open it to all beings. Uh, I'll, I'll see how it goes. I might add some others. <laughs> Don't know yet. Okay, now I'm finished. So let's uh, adjust our posture for the meditation. If you like to so turn away from the computer or dim your lights or get any other supports for your posture. Hmm. Practice is usually about 25 minutes, but um, that can vary a little bit. Mm. Uh, there may be times where you hear a change in the sound here in my space. Um, if I have to mute the camera, because the chihuahuas are going crazy, so that can happen. So taking time to settle into your posture, as was mentioned, this is a Brahma Vihara practice, a heart abode practice. So we want to start with a posture that is kind supportive mm, in kind relationship with ourselves so see if there's any other adjustments you need see if you need any movement or stretch or touch so that when you come into stillness, your body really feels ready for that rather than imposing stillness, like right off the get go. Just see, is there any other movements or adjustments needed? Ah. So folks find a few sighing or deeper breaths helpful before Settling the breath into natural breath. And see what position for the eyes is most supportive for your practice tonight. Some people practice with eyes closed, others with eyes resting downward, or your eyes could rest on an object of beauty or peace, something in your environment. But finding a place where the eyes could rest. And then we'll really take some time to meet ourselves and this body in this moment. So just feel into the area of the face, head, skull, and notice any any tension that might not be needed right now? Could some space or softness, some kindness come to meet that tension? Mm. 
and feel that kind intention of softening flow down across the neck and shoulders. Letting the weight of the shoulders be felt so they rest down through elbows into relaxed hands. And then feeling into the sensations in the, the torso, the chest or upper back. Sometimes a few deeper breaths can help feel some movement or ease or some softening or sensation here. And then feeling into the lower torso, softening the inner layers of the belly where our Adrenal system can be activated in these subtle ways. Just notice if there's a fight or flight, freeze response happening in the deep inner belly. And could some, some small degree of softness come to be with that? So that now we may feel some more sensations of groundedness, weightedness, presence through the hips, pelvis, legs and feet. Resting back and down. In the back of the skull, down the spine, wide through the hips and the ground. Perhaps this sensation of a, a mountain in, in and around and through the body, this wide base, this uprightness, this centeredness. We'll just begin with a few moments of watching the breath. Wherever you most easily feel the sensation of breathing happening, just gently aware arising, passing. And feel how you can still feel the sensations of groundedness, steadiness, ease in the midst of this breath arising and passing. Arising, passing. And now we'll take some time to set an intention for this practice. This is a Sankalpa positive 
resolution or intention. And just feel into why you're here, why you're doing this practice. That we come together in community to cultivate. Mm. So that our life may be more meaningful or beneficial to ourselves and to others. What intentions resonate for you in this moment for this practice? You might silently repeat your intention three times. May this practice serve the highest good for all beings. And then from this place of presence, centeredness, groundedness, ease, to whatever degree that's available to you tonight or during this practice, we'll bring into awareness what's called a neutral being. So this could be someone that you, you just casually know or slightly know might be a stranger. It could even be somebody, um, you know, that from the news that you see fairly frequently, or or it's best if it's somebody that uh, that you cross paths with in life. Um, maybe someone from a store you frequent, or a gas station, or someone in the neighborhood you pass by that you don't have strong feelings for one way or the, uh, another. Just uh, someone that we maybe don't notice very deeply. And then this person is kind of standing in for all those who are neutral, that are passing by largely unnoticed by us. And feel into this genuine wish that anyone, whether you like them or not, or feel neutral towards them, could experience the peace of the middle path. Just touching into however that feels for you this wish that they could find steadiness and ease and then silently repeat these phrases or use your own words may you open to how it is right now May you find steadiness in the midst of arising and passing. May you release the struggle to control circumstances. May you be at peace through this journey.
And then we'll continue for a little bit together with this neutral being. I'll repeat these phrases one more time. And then in the silence, you could use your own words or some version of these. May you be open to how it is right now. May you release the struggle to control circumstances. May you be steady in the midst of arising and passing. May you be at peace through this journey. Being embodied and cultivating this heart intention in relationship to neutral people in your life. And then taking a releasing breath if it's helpful or just reconnecting with your body, posture, presence here and now. Feel the ground, feel your center, your uprightness, this mountain-like quality. And as we really now connect with ourselves, feeling into your own body or image of yourself, and cultivating this intention to find steadiness and ease with all that is present for you in this moment. Presence and ease. And repeating in your own heart awareness, May I be open to how it is right now. May I release the struggle to control circumstances that are beyond my control. May I find steadiness in the midst of arising and passing. May I be at peace through this journey. And then in this silence together, finding your own words of cultivation of this quality of upekka in relationship to yourself. 
this intention for steadiness or ease. Freedom from pushing and pulling. And then perhaps a deeper or sighing breath, reconnect to these sensations here and now, grounded, upright, centered, spacious, kind attention. Take a few moments to reconnect with the sensation of the breath in its nature of arising and passing. And feel your capacity capacity to have steadiness in that immediate experience of breath arising, passing, that moment arising, passing. And then this last part of this meditation, uh, very non, not thinking about it, but just dropping in and trusting the capacity to open awareness in a very vast field. Open awareness to the oneness of all life, all beings in all directions. Just feel awareness is already infinitely in front, side to side, behind, above, below, all directions, boundless. And as Sharon Salzberg so perfectly says, Seeing that the universe is much too big to hold on to, but is the perfect size for letting go. Our hearts and minds can become that big, and we can actually let go. The universe is much too big to hold on to, but it's a perfect size for letting go. Just check out that possibility that this awareness is already boundless. And it already has the quality of upeka, equanimity, in the midst of all these infinite arisings and passings. May all beings everywhere 
gently open to how it is right now. May all beings everywhere find some steadiness amidst the risings and passings that are beyond our control. and the wisdom and presence to respond to what is within our capacity. May all beings everywhere be at peace through this journey. Have some equanimity, some steadiness and presence. And even though the mind might jump in with editorial comments that that's not possible for all beings or whatever kind of thoughts might float in, we're touching the wish, the bhavana, to cultivate this intention, may all beings everywhere be at peace. This deep heart's wish, may all beings everywhere And as we hear these three sounds, just follow these vibrations as if they extend boundlessly in all directions, carrying it with this vibration, this heart intention of Upeka. And at the end of the third sound, gently transitioning from your practice. Thank you for your practice and I hope there's some cultivation, some inclination of the heart mind towards steadiness uh, with how things are so that we have more respondability, more ability to mm, to say to ourselves and each other and all beings, it's like this, what's needed? Thank you for practicing with us. <laughs>